Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Evelyn for the people that are new here. So today on the channel we have D Mwango. I'm a Kenyan based content creator. Please go show some love, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so today we are going to be talking to you about some of the things you should know upon arrival to Rwanda and she's going to be sharing some from her own experience and I'm going to be sharing some yeah so welcome to the channel so I think number one what we should know about Rwanda is the fact that uh, close to 90% they speak Kenya Rwanda like local language yeah. close to everyone but some people may speak English but you'll get them like uh, in big places maybe in malls in hospitals such places that's where you can find people who speak English. But if you interact with the locals, they normally speak the local language. So moving around, if you don't know the local language, is really hectic. More so for me, boarding the motorbike, speaking to the local people, they don't really understand what I mean. So again, it's good if you have somebody maybe to take you around to explain to them what yeah. you really mean. But majority of the people here speak Kenya Rwanda. Even the police, man, like close to everyone. Yeah. It's not really easy to find people who speak. Okay, you can find them, but not really. It's not everyone. Yeah, so that's yeah. going to be one of the biggest challenges. I suggest if you come and you don't understand any other language, you either get someone you're close to that understands the language. First that I think you should know is uh, Rwanda, they're really strict when it comes to following the rules. Yeah. So please make sure like you're on the you're on the right place at the right time doing doing the correct thing. Yeah. Because here people are not being followed up like do this, do that, do this. You just do it by yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not like other yeah. countries where they say do this and you're like no. I'm not going to do that. So here rules are rules and you really have to abide by them. The other thing you should know, mostly for people who come from other countries, you need to buy a SIM card. Yeah, for communication, like it's really, really important. Yeah, I think and that's country. like number one thing that you should do immediately when you get here so that maybe you can have the data connection, maybe communicate to people. And actually it's really affordable. Yeah. A half a dollar you have. Yeah. So and data here in Rwanda is not really expensive. It's really, really, really affordable. And I think Rwanda has the fastest network yeah. ever, like really fast, yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's very true. So you need a SIM card. A SIM card helps you connect, get connected to the internet in case you're not in your hotel and you yeah. need to use internet, you need to call people, you need a SIM card. So that's one other thing that you should know upon arrival to Rwanda. We have three transport means, major ones in Rwanda. We have the buses, the motorbikes and... Uh, Bicycles. The bicycles. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so the most common one. Yes. Motorbikes, they're everywhere. It's really easy for you to move around. Mm -hmm. and yeah. They're also affordable, but if only you know how to speak the local language, yeah. it's really hard for you to board, or else they can even take you to the wrong direction. So you have to make sure yeah. they really understand where you're going because it has happened to me several. Like I bought it, I thought the guy understood where we're going, and I, uh, they take me there, and I'm like, no, this is not the place where I'm going. And it's so hard for them to understand English. So if you only know English and Swahili, please be prepared. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah, so if you're going to be using and I think motorbikes are the easiest way to get around town. Mm -hmm. If you read if you're in a hurry, you don't want traffic, these people can beat the traffic real fast. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. But again the buses are really nice, really comfortable. You just stop and go while boarding them. Yeah. And they're really cheap and affordable, really nice. So it all yeah. depends. If you know if you are on a hurry you can move, you can use the motorbikes. If you're not, you can use the buses, but mm -hmm. I don't mean they're also slow, but it all depends on what you want to use, exactly. but they're also available. But when it comes to bicycles, you can get them around here, like there are designated places where you can find them, not within the city. Yeah, that, that's the same with bus. You have to go to like a bus stop for you to get a bus. Yeah. So in terms of like street food, I haven't seen any yet. Yeah, so people here don't sell things on the street anyhow. Yeah. So if you expect to just walk around and buy street food like you would in like other countries. Like in Kenya, oh my yes, goodness, even guys. in Uganda. <laughs> so They're it's going to there. be really hard for you, so mm -hmm. you don't have that here. You have to be so careful with how you dispose of your rubbish. Yeah. I think you've noticed it, you don't find litter anyhow. The city is really clean. I think those are the major things that you have to know when coming to Rwanda. Those are like really the major ones. Yeah. We are going also going to talk to, to share with you some of the things we think we love about this country. I think it's just a reputation, like good network. The city is really, really clean. Moving around is really easy. There yeah. are no traffic. Yeah. Rwanda is, I don't know, Rwanda is just a different world by its own. Everything here is good, 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 good. 
clean, clean, clean. But guys, life here is kinda expensive yeah, compared yeah. to my country, Kenya, because man, here a loaf of bread goes for one and a half dollars. I think I'll make a video about that, so please don't miss to check me out on my YouTube channel. But life here is not that cheap as you think. And when it comes to clothes, they are really expensive. Like for me, it's like crazy. Like from $30, that's where you can get like a good cloth, maybe first hand or something. But when it comes to shoes, according to my survey, they're kind of cheap. But all the same, Kigali is expensive. That's yeah. what I've known. What about the security? The security is really nice. Like in it's Kigali, you can, you can make calls anywhere. <laughs> But back in my country, you have to really know where you're making the calls. Yeah, so, so here you can move around, like you don't have worries of somebody doing anything weird to you because you, yeah. you have policemen everywhere and you've seen yeah. them. And also, the policemen are really clean, they look good, they, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're very professional. I think Kinyarwanda is one of the national languages here. Yeah. Like, even in billboards, even everywhere they use that. Yeah, you see, it, it is. Yeah, it is. So, so majority of the people understand Kinyarwanda and the rest speak French. And yeah. Yeah, in around and, and, and French mostly. Yeah. Then few people can speak English. Then few people can speak Swahili. Yeah. That's how it is. And but that's not a reason to stop you from visiting Rwanda. I know you wanna love it. Like if you're that person who loves adventures, like everything here is really beautiful, and I know you will enjoy it. Exactly. When and also, very it's calm. quiet. Yeah, it's very no quiet. unnecessary noise. Yes. So if you want a relaxed kind of environment, Rwanda. relaxed, very peaceful, then this is the place for you. You. You will love it here. You will love it. Yeah. Security guarantee. Kigali is expensive. That's yeah. what I know. Yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's uh, common to every city because the capital cities are known to be really expensive. Yeah. Life is not cheap as the countryside. Yeah. So that's normal. But yeah. kinda expensive. If you come from East Africa, mm -hmm. you'll realize life here is more expensive. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's basically it for today. So would you advise someone to come to Rwanda? Just pack your bag and come here. You won't regret. This country is beautiful. Everything is nice, as I've just said. So I'll definitely recommend. If you're thinking of Rwanda, please just hurry up, and you won't regret. A you? beautiful country. Uh -huh. So are you coming back? Definitely, I will, but not really soon because I also have other countries to visit. But I'd like to come here again and again and again and again. Those are some of the things you will notice if you come to Rwanda those are some of the things you should take into consideration when you come to this country so as a Kenyan if you were to choose between Rwanda and Kenya which one would you choose? Ah, home still remains to be home <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kenyan by blood by spirit by oh my goodness <laughs> but I'd like to visit but again I can't compare my country to Rwanda because East all East or West home is the best. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's basically it for today. So this is Dim Wango. I don't Please think... go subscribe to my YouTube channel, yes. Dim Wango. I don't think she even needs introduction. This girl is already famous. No, guys, I really don't like it when they tell me like you don't need introduction. I need to tell people who I am, man. Like I'm not that famous. I'm not the Rwandan president. So that I'm really famous. Everybody knows me. Yeah. No, guys, please go check me out. Dim Wango is my YouTube channel. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. How and... do you say bye in Kinyarwanda? <laughs> Murabeho, just like Murabeho. Murabeho. It's like goodbye. Yeah, it's like goodbye. Guys, it's crazy. Even the local people the don't know. She doesn't even know how to say. It. <laughs> Maybe we can have one. We say we say like bye bye. We used okay. to say bye bye. Ciao, guys. Yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the Bye. next video. Bye. Bye.